here with J.D. Lampley here at Media Day. J.D., it's uh, a new season, a new year, and I'm sure the guys, after a tough season last year, everybody's really hungry, right? Yes, sir. We're just ready to get out there, ready for August 31st. I've heard a lot of good things about you. I know you played uh, at Richmond County and a really good system there at high school. You have offensive and, and offensive line and defensive line. You've switched over to defensive line. Uh, how does that feel? It feels good. I never, really, I didn't really play a line much in high school. I just played like the bigger games. So I, I just, I had offers to go play O line, but I just, I just came here. T- Coach Test said he believed in me as a defensive lineman, and I, I knew I wanted to. I knew I was a defensive lineman, and it's all. I feel like it's all working out. No doubt, and the as far as that's concerned, the defensive line is one of the strengths of this team. And you guys did great last year. Uh, talk about this year. A lot of depth, too. Uh, I know several years ago when Coach Houston came here, we had a good first string, but we didn't have anything behind it. They've worked really hard over the last five years to really improve that room. Yeah. See, I feel like it starts in the inside because we got guys like uh, Big Tay, Eli, Sue, transfer Jaden McKenzie, just a bunch of older guys like that. Even C.J. Mims, who's been here, like this is his third year. He came in with me, but I just feel like the older guys just always are finding ways to teach the younger guys like what what's expected, how to play, like how to go about meetings, and everything. And then I feel like the same thing with us. Like Chad, we only got one senior in our room, but you know Chad's still he's a good leader. Everybody, I just feel like everybody does a good job helping everybody grow. Talk about that very thing of uh, the run defense was really good. I know the pass defense is something uh, you guys want to work on, but can you talk about that overall? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like in the run, like nobody, we shouldn't, we should be able to stop the run on anybody in the country. And then pass rush, I feel like we're going to be way better in the pass rush this year too. Like we're going to get home a lot more. How much of a factor being a, a player now uh, versus I graduated in the '90s, so here in East Carolina, but. How much of a factor now is NIL for you guys? Uh, you know, it's uh, we got the team boneyard, so whenever we love try to share it, share it on our social medias and stuff, so fans can give to team boneyard, and then team boneyard will disperse that, however, amongst the athletes, and then. But you also got like your own stuff, so you can do stuff locally, like with local restaurants or businesses. So it's fun, but I try not to get like too caught up in it. How about as far as the guys? I know you guys have had fall camp, but have you had a chance to play the new college football game? Yes, sir. We because we, it came out like a couple weeks before camp, so we were on it a lot. And we have a we have it in the players' lounge, so guys would be playing in between uh, meetings and stuff. So I know you don't want to like start anything in the locker room, but who's the best player uh, as far as the, on the college football game? Probably me. You're the best? Okay. Well, J.D., good luck this season. I know you guys have got a lot to uh, look forward to, a great, great uh, lineup of players, and appreciate the time today.